Hello. Bye bye. How are you? Well, hello. Welcome back to the Huxtable Fam. We are so excited because again, we are on our spring break craft edition. So creating family fun while we are social distancing during our spring break time. So in this particular video, we're gonna actually make some sock puppets. These are the first things you're gonna need, AKA is a sock puppet. So the first thing you're gonna need, of course, are socks. You can get any size if you want them long, if you want them short, you can get any kind of size socks. You can just find socks that are in your house, use. You don't have to go and buy any. But if you want to go to, you can go to the dollar store and you can definitely find some really, um, cheap socks. You need some foam paper. You need some crazy, what is this, like crazy kind of straws, the little pipe cleaners. Of course you need some scissors. You need some colorable palms. Some cardboard, which I have. I have it already kind of cut out. You need some cardboard. And you need some googly eyes. Some yarn, which I already have, already prepped. Some yarn. And hot glue gun. So we're gonna get started with it. Again, it's very simple. Everybody can use it. If you're afraid of the hot glue gun for your younger kids, you can use tacky glue or anything that's gonna be really good with sticking, you know, um, things to fabrics. So first thing you wanna do is take your sock and you wanna turn that sock inside out. That's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna take the sock inside out. You wanna lay it flat on the table so you can get a nice flat <clears throat> sock because what you're gonna do next is just nice and flat. What I'm gonna do next is take the cardboard which I have like in a rectangle square shape depending on the size of the mouth you want if you want it to be a deeper mouth you want it to be a little smaller you want to use the sock as a gauge for width and you can just determine how wide you want to do. So you just take a piece of the cardboard and simply just cut it in a square. I normally just kind of go down and then I just measure it like that against the sock and determine if I want it short or longer and then I cut based on how big I want the mouth. So I'm gonna put this on the side over here. So I have my mouth already cut out. What I'm gonna do is take the hot, um, before I take the hot glue gun, I want to fold it in half. After you fold it in half, you got your little mouth in there. You want to take hot glue. Hopefully you have your hot glue gun already plugged up because you want it to be hot. You're going to go ahead and put that hot glue on the cardboard all over your, the toes of the socks. So I have hot glued it just kind of all over. You take the toes of the sock and we're going to lay it flat onto the hot glue. So do that, I'm going to fold over. I'm going to squeeze, you want to make sure that glue is nice and dry in there. This is probably not going to matter, but just think about those stuff. So you want to make sure it's nice and in there. Once I do that, I'm going to go in my hand in and I'm just gonna simply grab it. You can already kind of see what's about to happen. I'm gonna pull it in back um the outside in. <clears throat> so now I have my mouth as you can see. I have my mouth, so this is a good way of being able to hold it. And so now I have the little opening for my mouth. So again, if you want it wider, depending on how wide you want it, you just put further, you just make a longer piece of cardboard. I just kind of want it this small. So there we go, open. <laughs> so the next thing I want to do, so now that I have my mouth ready, I want to now go ahead and create some eyes on this sock. As you can see, I'm going to take two um, palms. You can choose whatever color you want. Again, let the kids be creative. I'm gonna take these two palms. I'm gonna take two googly eyes. Again, I'm gonna use my hot glue. And I'm going to first take the little palm. And I'm gonna glue, put some glue on those. 
I'm going to put the place to be the eye on top of that. Then I'm going to take some more glue. And so I'm going to do the same on the other eye. A couple of little palms. And then I'm going to take the glue eyes and I'm going to place it there. Once I have gotten the glue on there, the googly eyes on top of the combs, as you can see, I'm going to take it. <clears throat> now you can measure it depending on where you want the eye or if you have some with faces already on it and you just want to use the faces that are there, you can measure it based on what you want it to be. <clears throat> you can measure it. You can say, well, I'm I want to actually use these for eyes, or you can take it and make it, you know, you can put it down here. It really depends on how you want to do it. But I'm just going to just simply use the, the face that's here, because that's just kind of what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to now place the glue onto the sock the way I want my eyes to be. And then I'm going to glue the palm on top of that glue. Here. This pressure is get hot. Now I'm going to take another palm because I want to make a nose. And then I'm going to also glue it onto the side. So I got that glue on. So now that's on, <clears throat> and why um, a good thing to do to make sure that it's getting fresh, you can put your hand through there and just kind of use your hand as a, you know, something a little hard to make sure it's on there nice and tight. So what now what I want to do with this, I want to kind of create a tongue up in here, right here. So I have my two googly eyes, my little eyes here. And this is really part of the mouth. So, but what I'm gonna actually do is put the mouth part piece right here, inside of here. So what I'm gonna do is take some pink foam paper <clears throat> and I'm gonna just create an arch. You can also talk about shapes. So you can say, hey, we're gonna make some arches or some U's. We wanna, you know, use letters, something to kind of emphasize. A little learning experience, with, especially with your younger ones. You're gonna make some U's on the back of the tape, on the back of this foam, little white part. Then you're gonna just cut it, cut it. This foam here is it has some adhesive on it, so just take it off so it can be pink all around. So what I'm gonna do, that I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm going to place it inside just like that you see right there i'm going to take my sticky foam and place it inside i have the tongue there and so i want to if if this all you want to do that's good that's that's good enough that's all the kid want to do but i want to add some hair to it so what i have is some yarn the best way to create this hair when you take your yarn where is my actual camera? And you take your yarn, you can find a piece of cardboard, which I have right here. Or you can use a pencil box, you can any kind of box. And so what you do is just take the yarn, place it in the middle here with your thumb and wrap it around. So you wanna wrap it around really tight and you wanna wrap a lot. So you wanna keep wrapping it until it's nice and kind of thick so you can have a really nice hair. So you just kind of go around like so. Once you finish wrapping, you want to leave some out. Just gonna just do a little bit for demonstration. I'm gonna cut it, and then you're gonna pull it off the box. Maybe a little bit harder with this kind of box. So it's always good to have a box that doesn't have anything in it, so you can kind of bend the box. So once you have it here, you will take it and squeeze together like you're gonna make a bow, and go around and make it into go around several times so you, all that is done. And then you can take 
Then you would take the hot glue. You don't have to kind of get, um, to stick that last little piece. Take that little piece of cardboard so you don't bring your finger. And go around like that, like so. So you have your hair. Now you can leave it as a bow, or if you want it to kind of look kind of like this one, kind of spritzed out, you just cut it right here. Right, so now you got the spritz out. So that's what I'm gonna do with mine. I'm going to actually cut it and cut all the hair. I'm gonna use scissors again. Let the kids be creative. It's a good way to teach that small motor skills to your younger ones that are trying to develop that skill of cutting. Give them some, you know, um, age appropriate scissors and let them just cut, you know, let them be creative. Good way to, again, um, help build that small motor skill. So I have the hair cut. Once I got my hair already cut, I want to place it up here. Place it above the eyes. So it can be like crazy hair. So I'm going to place it here. Of course, I have to use some hot glue gun and put the hot glue and I'm just going to place it on the side. It's always better just to do it on the side versus putting it on here and then placing it on there. because. You, know, you can actually see exactly where you want to place it. So you're going to find that place you glued, and you want that to be the piece that is on the sock, so you don't see that in the front. So you're going to press it. Again, you can use, you can put your hand on the inside as a base to kind of help apply pressure to it to make sure it's sticking. So now you have the, the hair there. You choose how you want your hair. Maybe you want to add some more. You just look at it, see what else you would like to put in there. You can add a little bit extra. I'm going to make some uh, visual learners that like have to have something to kind of keep their focus, especially if you're reading. So bam, you got your little puppet you can use. You can create stories. You can just kind of really be really creative with it. Create story time. Use it for when you're reading a book for your little ones. Just to capture their attention, even with babies. This is a great way to kind of get their attention, let them experience color, let them feel it, um, sensory, all of that. This is really, really, really great um, way to just really engage and create something creative and fun in your social distance time. My kids enjoyed it. So I hope you guys will actually take time to make those little puppets Enjoy some little family time doing social distancing. Thank you for watching and you have a great and awesome rest of the workshop. Bye.